Courtney Cox here with Darren Hartwell, and it's time to talk about the Celtics. The Seas clinching a playoff berth on Tuesday night, their third consecutive season heading to the playoffs. We're hoping for a little bit of a different outcome this season. Uh, but we've got Darren here because he is our in-house expert on all things that bleed green. So let's break it down. Let's start with their most favorable matchup uh, in your eyes when they head into this playoff series. Well, there are a lot of teams who are kind of out there. You know, obviously teams like the Pistons and the Bulls are kind of floating in the 8-9 seed. I think the Celtics would obviously like to play them. But as it stands right now, they're they're scheduled to face the Bucks in the 7 seed. Uh, I actually think, think that's a pretty good matchup for the Celtics. You know, they have Giannis Antetokounmpo, the, the Greek freak there, but they lost Jabari Parker to a season-ending injury. They're still kind of inexperienced. They haven't made it out of the first round since 2000. So I, if, if I were the Celtics, I'd be okay with, uh, with playing the Bucks. All right, now with good news, there's always bad news. So let's talk about their least favorable matchup in your eyes. Yeah, I, obviously you're going up in the standings a little bit, but I'd, I'd put the Indiana Pacers in that category. They're the sixth seed right now. Obviously, Paul George is a, is a you know high quality player, one of those super superstar players who can kind of take over in the playoffs. They also have Miles Turner, who, who could give them some problems down low. The Atlanta Hawks, I'd also throw in that category. They're the fifth seed right now, but you know we all saw what happened last year when the, when the Hawks played the Celtics. Uh, in the regular season, they've won six of the last nine matchups the Hawks have. So they kind of have the Celtics number. I wouldn't want to play them if I were the Seas. All right, so now we've talked about it. Their third consecutive season. We're hoping for a different outcome. Do you think we're going to get one in, in 2017? Is this the Celtics' year? Well, I think at the very least, if they don't make it out of the first round, I think it's a pretty big disappointment. Uh, this team has the talent to get past the first round with, with Isaiah Thomas playing the way he has this season and Al Horford in the mix. You got to look at the second round. Washington Wizards give, give the Celtics some pretty good games uh, and the Toronto Raptors too. Both of those teams would be tough matchups in the second round. I'll be an optimist and say they make it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think everyone would love to see a Celtics-Cavs match up there. Uh, I'm not too uh, optimistic about that, but I, I think they'll get there. Well, you bring up the Wizards, and they just beat the Wizards, which was great for them. Mm -hmm. But playing a team so close together, that sometimes will bite somebody. So uh, we'll see what happens. But as always, you want to make sure that you follow along with Darren on Twitter, at Darren underscore Hartwell or myself at Cox Courtney, but make sure to keep it locked in right here at Nesson.com throughout the Celtics playoff run. We'll see how far we can get.